Hi, my name is Roger and welcome to episode 3 of How to Write a Song. Today we're going to write some lyrics, but first, let's go through that issue I had with the rhythm and the melody from my last video. If you haven't seen that video, you should maybe see that first. I can wait. I'll wait here. As I told you in that video, I thought the rhythm on the melody was a bit too straight. It wasn't interesting, but I found what I should do when I played the guitar. Let me show you. I told you in my last video that I wouldn't change the rhythm on the chorus. I like that and I won't change that, but I will use the chorus to change the rhythm on the verse. That doesn't make sense at all, does it? Let me show you. The melody on the chorus goes like this. There's a lot of spaces. And I was thinking, can I fill those spaces with some kind of rhythm from my instrument, from my guitar or the piano? And I came up with this. Ba da 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 ba da 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 ba da da ba da like that and then I can use that rhythm that I played on the guitar I can use on my verse from the beginning the verse sounded like this da 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 do 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 and so on but now I can do bye ba ba da do 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 and it all became much more interesting. In, yeah, it all became much more interesting right away. Many of the things I mention in these videos and more you will find in my songwriting guide. You find that on my webpage and it can be yours for $1,000 or, or free if you sign up with your email address. And then I came up with when I play the piano, after I play the guitar. On the chorus, on the guitar I played uh, like uh, ba, la, da, da, da. What, I would what if I would change those chords so it goes like Much more interesting. Va, la, da, da, da. La da da da, va da da va. Much better, I think, anyway. And then when I play the song through a few times, I also realized that I wanted some kind of chord that turned the song on the side a bit before it went back on track again, so to speak. And that will be at the end of the chorus. In my last episode, I showed you the end of the chorus was la da 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 like that. And because the melody goes downwards, it starts rather high and then go down, I wanted the chord to go up, start low and go up. So they meet each other. And I came up with la da 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 But that wasn't interesting enough for me. I wanted a real turn, a chord that didn't belong to the key I'm in. I'm in G major now. And then I tried to find things, both theoretical and by ear, and came up with this. Mm. Much better, I believe. Ba, 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 da, da. Much better. Now, let's write some lyrics. Lyrics for me can be a real pain. It can cause so much anxiety. I have always had trouble writing good lyrics. I think I'm getting better at it. 
and I think it's getting easier. What I try to do when I write lyrics is to tell a story. I'm not so good at painting that emotional picture that some people are extremely good at, like my songwriting partner Frederick. He's excellent at that. And I, I can't really compete with that, so I try to write lyrics in different ways. My way is that I always have notebooks laying around like everywhere. I always have it in my bag that always that's always with me. And then I start to write what the subject of the song is. I also write just words, just random words that pop up in my head, both emotional words and also storytelling words. This can take minutes, hours, days, months or years. It's like brainstorming with yourself, if you understand what I'm saying. And I can do it in different places, different times of day. Normally, I have easier to do this in the evenings, but that's just me. Maybe you're different. When do you like to write lyrics and where do you like to write lyrics? Please tell me in the comments. I go through a lot of papers in my notebooks. I throw the papers away when I'm half finished and start all over again. Mostly because that sort of triggers my brain to, to find new words, to find new sentences. And when I've done all that, and I have a paper with words that I think describes the song I want to write, the feelings and the storytelling, then I go and do it digital by the computer. And I'm cheating. I'm using a rhyme lexicon on the internet. And I just write the words and see if I can if I can come up with a sentence of that word that have a rhyme that is that makes sense for the first sentence. Like many others, my lyrics are three times as long as the song is when I've finished writing the lyrics. And then I have to kill my darlings. I have to take away, throw away a lot of sentences that might be good, but they don't do anything for the story. So why keep them? And adjust the sentences so they also make a story. They make sense together. And it can be just changes in the sentence and the rhyme. It can also be reorder the sentences so it makes sense. It's so tempting to go to the computer and start doing a production at this point. I recommend not to do that. Finish the song first, but because otherwise it might never be finished. I mean, the composition. It's so easy to go into sounds and beats and find the right snare drum and then you don't finish the lyrics or the harmonies or the melody for the song. At least I do that. So I try to reject going to the computer until the song is finished. After several hours of work with the lyrics, I have a song finished. In this case, it's only a verse and a chorus. In other songs, I might need the pre-chorus or a bridge or whatever, but for this purpose, we do it short. Also, when I've written the lyrics, I write them down on some kind of app with the chords that I can open on my phone also. So I can work with that song wherever I am. It could be Google Docs, uh, Dropbox. Uh, it could be um, Evernote. You can use whatever app you want to use. That's a little bit about my way of writing lyrics. If you have other ideas, please leave it in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, ring that bell, all those things. Lyrics in Swedish is text. Text. If you read sheet music, you can look at the song and you can listen to the song right now. Until next time, roger that. As the days go by, the things get easier if we try to embrace the change. So
as one could be.